Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. In the technology industry, memory chips have always been a crucial link related to various fields from daily electronic products to enterprise-level data centers. For a long time, the international memory chip market has been basically controlled by several giants. Samsung, SK Hynix, Micron and other manufacturers have been making a lot of money in this field. However, with the launch of Chinese-made DDR5 chips, this seemingly calm lake has been completely mudded. For a long time, the advantages of Korean manufacturers in memory chip technology have been quite obvious. Take Samsung and SK Hynix as an example. They have invested a lot of money in research and development and took the lead in introducing extreme ultraviolet EUV exposure technology in DRAM manufacturing process. This technology is amazing. It can make the line width of the chip extremely small. More circuits can be integrated on the same size chip, and the performance is stronger. In contrast, although China's CXMT storage has made great breakthroughs in DDR5 chip manufacturing, the G3 process it uses can reach a line width of 17.5 nanometers, but there is still a gap compared with Korean manufacturers. Moreover, in terms of key performance indicators, such as chip read and write speed and data delay, South Korea's DDR5 chips are also better, but Chinese manufacturers have not stopped catching up and have been working hard to narrow the gap through various technical optimizations. From the perspective of market share, Chinese memory chip companies used to have a pitifully small share in the global market, and international giants firmly occupied most of the market share. But the situation is different when domestic DDR5 chips are launched. Take CXMT storage for example. Its product shipments in the domestic market are rising, and it has begun to seize the market share that originally belonged to international manufacturers. According to market research institutions, in the next few years, China's memory chip market share is expected to increase from less than 10% now to 20% or even more. This is a huge impact on those international memory chip manufacturers, which means that their originally stable market share has been taken away by Chinese manufacturers. In terms of price, the advantages of Chinese-made DDR5 chips are even more obvious. Now, if the 32 GB desktop memory with a frequency of 6000 MHz on the market uses domestic DDR5 particles, the price can be as low as 499 yuan, but if the similar products use imported particles, the price will be much higher. The price differentiation has made domestic DDR5 chips popular in the market, especially those price-sensitive consumer markets and small and medium-sized enterprise markets, which have a particularly high acceptance of domestic chips. This has forced international manufacturers to lower product prices in order to maintain their market share, and their profit margins have been severely squeezed. Micron was once the world's third largest memory chip giant, but it was eliminated by the Chinese market. 
The United States is naturally unwilling to do so. The Biden team has always liked to use political means to intervene in the market, and this time is no exception. They are very likely to launch further sanctions on Chinese memory chip companies. Many Chinese semiconductor companies have been included in the entity list before, restricting these companies from obtaining American technology and products. After that, companies like CXMT Storage that produce DDR5 chips will undoubtedly become the focus of attention. The United States will definitely try its best to support its own memory chip industry. They will provide a large amount of funds to provide R&D subsidies to companies such as Micron, and will also introduce various tax incentives to encourage these companies to increase their investment in technology R&D, hoping to help them regain their lost market share. The United States will inevitably win over allies internationally to build a technology blockade alliance against China's memory chip industry, restrict Chinese companies from obtaining advanced technology and equipment, and hinder the development of China's memory chip industry. But no matter how the United States moves, China's memory chip industry has firmly established its foothold in the field of DDR5 chips through its own efforts and innovations. From technological breakthroughs to the gradual expansion of market share, Chinese manufacturers are rewriting the pattern of the international memory chip market step by step. In the future, as technology becomes more and more mature and production capacity continues to increase, Chinese-made DDR5 chips will definitely play a greater role in the global market and become the core force to promote the development of the entire industry, completely breaking free from the constraints of European and American technology. In short, the listing of Chinese DDR5 chips has stirred up the international memory chip market. Although there is a gap in technology compared with Korean manufacturers, the market share is gradually expanding and the price advantage is significant. The United States may sanction Chinese memory chip companies, but Chinese manufacturers are rewriting the market pattern and are expected to become the core force for the development of the industry in the future. What do you think about this?